My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Carol Shelby made six original Shelby Daytonas. If you could even ever find one on the market, it would be worth in the millions. This is a super performance continuation. They are authorized by Shelby to build these cars. They did a fantastic job of incorporating the old vintage car with the modern technology. Go to volocars.com. That's where you get all the specs, pricing, photos of this car and a few hundred other collector cars that are all for sale. So go to volocars.com. Right now, why don't you put on your racing gloves and why don't you go with me for a spin in this 1965 Superformance. Very high-end build. This is not a Volkswagen motor in the back. This is not a chintzy uh, put-together uh, remake car. This is the real deal. They call it Space Age uh, chassis. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. But it's all tubular uh, chassis and, and gussets. The whole bottom is uh, riveted uh, stainless steel panels for aerodynamics. It's front and rear independent, uh, like track ready suspension with coil over shocks, disc brakes, power disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, this is a car you can take to the track. But you're not going to need a trailer. You can drive it. You can drive this car every day to work if you wanted to. It, it's very street friendly, but yet if you want it on the course, it, it's built to do that. This one's finished in Viper Blue, has white stripes. It's a one owner car. The gentleman that bought it new unfortunately passed away. It has 17,000 miles on it, and it's just really well cared for, original condition since it was built by Superformance. These are actual knockoff wheels. There are no lug nuts. The spinner is what holds the wheel on, like the original. All the scoops and vents and louvers and everything about it is very authentic to the original car. It looks like the original. <clears throat> it's a flip forward uh, hood. Un under the hood is a, is a 351 crate motor. It's 385 horse with the aluminum GT40 uh, heads. Oh, now I gotta get to the other side to prop it open. Aluminum intake, Holly carb. I'll start it up in a minute. It's nothing over the top radical, but it's plenty of power to move this little light car around. It's a six speed transmission. It's air conditioned, has heat, of course, and everything is, is high quality. Uh, again, coil over shocks. The radiator lays flat. The air comes up through there. There's fans on the bottom and the top, comes out right through the hood. These are remote doors. That's a hatch window that opens up. There's a real roll bar system in here. It's all carpeted real nicely with sewn edges. Has a Superformance car cover. Has a 1965 license plate. A polished aluminum pop-up gas cap. The inside's done really nice. It's all leather and suede. Really nice leather sport seats, suede on the dash, door panels and headliner, real nice leather wrapped steering wheel. All the gauges are reproduction style Stuart Warner like they would have had with toggle switches. So very authentic inside. Carpet's in excellent shape. Has uh, AC uh, pedals on the floor. So now I will start it up for you. It's a six-speed transmission that's in there, so it's quick off the line. You put it in that sixth gear, you can cruise down the highway and hardly even turn over any RPMs. The original style shifter and console, uh, chrome emergency brake handle, but it does have some 12-volt receptacles so you can charge your phone while you're out on the track.
The glove box is signed by Peter Brock. He was the first paid employee by Shelby, and he designed the original Daytona, and he also worked with Superformance designing this car. That's why it's as authentic as it is. Now, these pipes, these are, look at these wild headers. It is actually traveling through the pipes, but then it's diverted. It does not come out there. Way underneath, there's pipes that come out through the rear valance, and when you look under there, you also see the white stripes continue uh, right on through. If you haven't seen the movie Ford versus Ferrari, awesome movie, go see it. You'll see one of these in the background at, at Shelby's plant where he's building his cars. It, it's just a cool movie. You're going to want to own a piece of Shelby after you see it. So we got a great car here. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact us. I have a staff of people that will help with all your questions. We have shipping. We have financing. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the best way to see these awesome cars as they come out. So subscribe to that. I appreciate your time, and uh, stay tuned for more cool cars to come.